Sean Gorn quartz from the Chibuku deposit, Zambezi Valley, Zimbabwe. A crystal. Now the way I've measured it, the way I'd measure this crystal would be edge to edge like that. So this would be the length. That would be over two inches. Um, let's go around like this. The back section here would be contacted. So crystallization starts here, going around there. Of course, as one would expect from the Shangan Quartz's amazing uh, crystallization, very, very intricate uh, crystallization. And then when we look into these guys, we see a concentration of amethyst and smoky quartz. Usually the smoky quartz causing the outside patterning. Uh, with strong lighting shining onto this, these truly come to fruition. What's interesting here, you have a color concentration around the top of the crystal where it fades off at the bottom, going into a milky, maybe more amethyst, less smoky. Um, so first of all, let's have a look at the reflections for the crystal faces. Not at all photogenic on the still pictures. Uh, uh, the videos are actually, this is a much better indication of the actual specimen. This is also contact around that side. Then look at that. When you look through the sides, you see this depth of this intricate depth of color. Let's go through that edge. Let's have a look inside there. All the way from Zimbabwe, Zambezi Valley, Shing Shangan Quartz. Look at that. Ah, a color, color, intensity of color. It's almost like sweets from Mother Nature and her artists.